Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out the Parkside PPHM14A1 uh, pH uh, digital pH meter. Let's open first and see what is inside the box. Okay, obviously there was the unit itself, the device, there was a bit of rainforest, the battery and five sachets of puffer, or buffer, sorry, pH buffer powder for the calibration. Two acidic, one neutral and two alkaline. Okay, boys and girls, bit of interlude because actually what you've seen before uh, it happened like over a year ago, but uh, whilst I was uh, doing the preparation, I realized I don't have distilled water. I have only, or I had at that point only uh, deironized water, which is not exactly the same. And apparently for a successful calibration, you need a uh, dedicated distilled water. Also in the meantime, I found the missing sachet. Uh, so there was not five, but six, or there were not five, but six sachets in the pack. One just, it was hidden somehow, somehow in the box. Anyway, now I'm going to do the preparation of the alkaline, uh, the neutral and the acidic um, mixture or dilution. And then I will calibrate the pH meter.
Okay, boys and girls, that was the Parkside pH meters test. Honestly speaking, I'm absolutely not happy about it. I tried it many times. Most of the attempts are not even um, recorded. Uh, I tried uh, by moving it. I tried in um, a steady position. I tried it in these containers, even though the level of the water was more than enough to be between the minimum and maximum uh, marks. It couldn't read properly from these containers, so I had to pour it in a glass. And then from the glass, even though I was keeping it at the same level, it was reading nicely the values. However, during the calibration, it was keep running in error. It never finished with the proper calibration. Uh, what else to say? Yeah, most people will say like, man, 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 you didn't do it properly. I, I can't be bothered. I don't give a toss for that. Uh, as I said, I done many different ways. According to the instructions, I looked up other videos. I, I think it's a, it's a toy. You can buy much cheaper uh, these pH stripes or strips and those ones. You don't need to calibrate super cheap work all the time. I understand sometimes you need like these digits uh, after the uh, decimal point. But in most, um, well, in most cases, for most users, you won't need it. You just want to know if something is alkaline, neutral, or acidic. So you can skip this one. Again, as I said, I don't care whoever is going to say I didn't do it correctly. I tried many times. I just have only one of these recorded um, because I had, I had enough. I spent too much time on this, um, so I, I wouldn't recommend it. And that concludes the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.